October 27th, St. Frumentius, Bishop and Apostle of Ethiopia. St. Frumentius was a child when his uncle, a Christian philosopher, took he and his brother Adacius on a voyage to Ethiopia. In the course of their voyage, the vessel anchored at a certain port, and the barbarians of that country slew with the sword all of the crew and passengers except for the two children because of their youth and beauty they were taken to the king who charmed with the wit and sprightliness of the two boys took special care for their education and later made adacius his cupbearer and frumentius who was a little older his treasurer and secretary of state the king on his deathbed thanked them for their services and in reward gave them their liberty after his death the queen begged them to remain at the court and assist her in the government of the state until her young prince came of age this they did using their influence to spread christianity when the young king reached his majority adacius returned to tyre and frumentius accompanied him as far as alexandria there he begged st athanasius its patriarch to send a bishop to the country where they had spent many years and the patriarch considering him the best possible candidate for this office in the year three twenty eight consecrated him bishop for the ethiopians vested with this sacred character he gained great numbers to the faith by his discourses and miracles the entire nation embraced christianity with its young king st frumentius continued to feed and defend his flock until it pleased the supreme pastor to call him home and reward his fidelity and labors in about the year three eighty three we may note that the date of october twenty seventh is also the feast day of a king of ethiopia st elsbon who after overcoming the enemies of christ gave up his kingdom and sent his royal crown to jerusalem in the time of emperor justinius and embraced the monastic life he died two hundred and fifty years after st frumentius in the year five twenty three